Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Nikki. I'm a homeschool mom to an only child going in fourth grade. Um, today I have just kind of a update um, where I'm at mentally, physically. Uh, so basically everything's changing. Um, a whole lot has been going on here. Um, my daughter got diagnosed with ADHD. Uh, we're starting new medications, um, because I never thought we would be at this place that I would be medicating, but we are, here we are. Um, and it's well needed at this point um, we are working on diet and what type of foods are we are intaking and movement and we're doing all the things and it's all exhausting but we're starting somewhere and this has kind of pushed back my mindset um, it shifted my mindset, it has changed my mindset, it has made me question every single thing that I have set up for next year, and I'm a little bit on the crazy train right now. I'm sure you can all relate at some point, you have questioned your homeschooling decisions and what to do, what curriculum to pick, what direction to go in. And for right now, my like, I know before uh, summer started, I said I wanted to be down here. I wanted to change our homeschool space. I had painting to do. I had this whole like revamping project and we are heading into July and I still have yet to have done that. And so I feel this intense amount of pressure to finish all the things, get all the things done and ready and prepped for our new year that is supposed to start uh, mid-July. I just don't know how we're gonna do that. Um, and I know that's my own deadline. I know that's my own start date. There is, I do not have any requirements in my state um, as far as how many days to school and, or anything like that. So I'm putting this pressure on me. I know that I am. It's not, it's not like I have to. But I also know that we like to take a good portion of December off and right now, that is looking like um, I might not be able to if we have a later start. Right now, because of what we're learning about her brain and her ADHD and what comes out of that, it's really made me put things into perspective. I want to find and go back to my what is education um, mindset because it is not worth it to me to homeschool and be stressed out. It is not worth it to go down this like pathway of needing to fit in to what I'm like, who am I raising the bar to? Uh, sorry, I got completely sidetracked where I was, but basically I'm throwing everything out the window. Um, I'm questioning it all because I'm trying to cater to what I'm learning about her and her ADHD and how I can break things up because she has lost her love of learning and she's been pushing back on the idea of starting school. She's been fighting me really hard on it and she's very reluctant and I had even printed out <clears throat> like some of these really fun, fun unit studies. Um, to get us interested in something, to get the structure going, the routine going, so that we could start. Um, and that was met with a whole lot of resistance. And I'm not doing school, blah, blah, blah. Um, and then, of course, that's when you use your mind and go, what if I just need to send her to school? And this is where that 
these dark places in our homeschooling journeys can really seep in and make you question, is she better off there? Although personally, if I dig even deeper into my thought process is that I know she won't be supported enough. And I know I'm giving her the best that she can get and I can cater that super well to her. So I have to break my mindset, come off of my high horse that thinks that everything needed, you know, because I am so curriculum crazed and love these things, I have to step away from my mindset and go, what is she going to benefit from? So she's been having some conversations with me and I have a general idea, but so like the school thing is still at the top of my head, but at the same time, like it's likely not going to happen. Um, so we've been having these discussions of like, what does that look like to you? What do you envision yourself curious about wanting to learn? Uh, and coming down in the schoolroom and going through some of the things that I had picked out. And I'd like to say that she approved the things uh, last April or, you know, actually it was well before April when we were going through curriculum choices. And I want to say she was excited about it. Well, that all changed. And I know ultimately, like, I am the teacher, but I don't want to make her do something that is not... I don't want to have the pushback because it's not worth it. So I have a bunch of curriculum surrounding me right now and I have more in a box over here, which I plan to do an unboxing and that'll be in another video. But I just kind of wanted to talk to you where my mindset is at. So much is happening. My job is still very much a go. And so it just has made our life so busy because on all the days that I'm not working, we are like jam packed with things so that we get in all the things, all the friend things, all the meetups and stuff while other kids are off for the summer that we have friends in school, um, other types of activities like the pool and like meeting, you know, just doing all the things. It's summer. So I'm trying not to like rein in this like hyper focus on like when we need to start and starting in July and it hasn't even really gotten super hot yet for consistently. So it's been kind of nice to still be outside and the cicadas are dying. So like I'm finally comfortable like hanging out outside because they're not swarming my head anymore. So anyways, um, if you see me on the struggle bus on social media, like this is why, like I am in a place. Um, I had my kidney stone event in May and so that caused a trickle of effects of mental health things with her and we're finally like getting to a good spot and I just want to be able to sit there and breathe for a little bit without having these like heavy expectations about what I should be doing and stuff like that and because I have gone through um a bunch of stuff in my life that I am trying to heal myself and that includes going and getting my body work done um, getting this stress and built up trauma and stuff that my body has kept the score on um, which if you haven't read that book you should body keeps a score because it really does and so I am going and taking advantage of my deductible being met for the year and I am making all the appointments. I'm going to get my skin checked. I am going to get um, PT and chiropractor and um, my feet because I have neuropathy. Um, my diabetes, I'm trying to get that managed and it's a whole process and I'm learning that I want to grow and I want to get better and I want to be able to do the things that I haven't been able to for some time. So as I am doing these things for me, I'm having a really hard time to come down here and go, look, what are we doing for school? When are we gonna start? Holy crap, we're supposed to start in like two and a half weeks. I have two trips coming up and I'm like back to back almost and I'm like, what What am I gonna do? Um, 
I'm trying to be more present, more off my phone, more off social media, um, being finding things to connect with my child with because for a while when she was heightened with her fight or flight, we were butting heads and things got very bad very quick and I'm just coming off of that dramatic time in our life. Um, I chopped my hair during that time. Um, my hair, I lost so much of my hair. It's finally like growing again. And like, anyways, so I have lots of things coming. I want to tell you my new plans, my thoughts in my head. I want to show you some of the curriculum that I bought that isn't what I would say well known um dabbling with new types of theories of style and what kind of style that we may try or change or um i'm i'm really stepping out of my comfort zone and i have this like feeling that it might be just what we need for our homeschool and i I still don't have a clear vision, right? Like I don't have what it's going to look like, but I think that's okay. Um, I think we just need to start here and hope that it branches off and we get further and further down. So summer update, we're enjoying summer. We're enjoying re being regulated right now, helping our nervous system come down, um, taking care of our bodies hanging out with our friends, hanging out with family, going on trips, um, just fully living in this moment. And that is why my homeschool room is not done. I have stuff everywhere, as you can see. Um, I am not painted down here. I don't even know if I'm gonna get to it now. I don't have my new table. I'm questioning my table. Do I need a new table? How, I'm like legit questioning everything. <laughs> So bear with me, I'm a hot mess over here and that is nothing new, but it's just a little elevated currently with all the things going on. So bear with me, you're still gonna get content from me. I'm just not sure, like I'm not gonna pressure myself into getting out so many videos a week. Um, if it's one, if it's none, if it's two, <laughs> and the next week is none, like, just bear with me in this process as I work through these emotions and what is currently going on in our lives. Um, that's it for now. Stay tuned because I am about to film my unboxing and I'm going to show you all of my thought process. So that video will likely be coming later this week. Let me know in the comments. Have you been through this struggle? Just let me know. Talk. Talk it out. I like to talk. Leave me comments. I'll talk. I'll see you in my next video.